Welcome once again to this exciting, ex another exciting installment of the Visual Vapor Reviews, Vape Fam. I've been working on something, trying to pick some stuff up and do this review for a little bit now. Now, I haven't done a review on this product simply because it doesn't really fall into my usual reviews. But once I saw the SS Vape got it, I decided I would get it too. So... I decided I would do a quick review on this for SS Vape because a lot of people who do um, products for, or even get vape products from SS Vape usually don't always know how they work because there aren't a lot of videos on them. Well, I'm here personally to tell you about this product and show you all about it. Now, it is already open, it is unpackaged. I'm sorry, guys, I won't be doing any unboxing today, but I will be doing a vape, some vapes on it and talking about how it works. But in order to do that, I'm going to need my uh, thing. Hold up. Sorry, I miss. I was missing one of the main pieces of the product, so I couldn't really do a review like that. Hold on, I put my thing in the wrong pocket. Hold up. There we go. Alright, so I've held off from this for a while because I've already done a review in a product that's very similar to it that was part of the own brand line of SS Vape, the Victory line. But because they introduced a new one, it's a pod system, I decided I would do a quick review on it because I went and picked it up a while ago. So, before I get into that, I'm vaping on my Athena Squonk Box by Geek Vape on Sweet Tooth by The Clown. But that's not what we're talking about today. We're talking about something a lot tinier and a lot more compact. So out of the cloud, let's show you what it is. Introducing the Jewel. Look at that, out of the cloud. This little beauty is a tiny, tiny little vape that took the world by storm into a $5.1 billion business and is sold now by SS Vape and it is brought to you courtesy of SS Vape as well for this review. So, basically, you come, the device comes with three things. Well, two things, actually, sorry. It comes with your device. You can get a device with a starter kit of pods and it also comes with this little USB charger with a magnetic hun, uh, connection piece. So you just plug it in and then it just magnetically locks each time. Oh. Some magnet sh uh, metal shavings or some of some kind stuck to here. Hmm. Have to get those out. But in any case, so it just locks magnetically and then this light right here, this tiny little light will light up with the battery life when you tap it twice if a pod is plugged in. So let me grab one of those pods real quick. So these pods are tiny, really simple to use. You just click and go. So when I put this in, you'll notice the light blinks once and then and that means it's on. Two taps, it shows in green. That means the battery life is full. I've been charging it all night just for the purpose of this review. So basically all you have to do is fully charge your jewel put a pod in it and they come in pre-filled pods but in my experience any pod is a hackable pod if it's not refillable so i hacked it and put some of my own liquid in there but that's not what's in this pod this is the original vape juice that comes with the pre-filled pods for the purpose of this review hi baby so let's get a um, let's get a first impression. I believe it's a five watt unit that is really for those mouth to lung hitters that are looking for a high nick rush. There's no nicotine in mine. I get mine in the zeros, so it's a really flavorful vape either way. I've been vaping on the fruit medley, I believe. So let's give it a try. See, very tiny cloud, very easy mouth to lung hitter. Very good flavor. Nothing wrong with it at all. I really like it. It's definitely a, I can see why it's a $5.1 billion business. It is a really good, easy to use vaporizer and you don't have to worry about all the um, dangers of tobacco. It's a very good starter kit. So the functions on this thing are really simple. 
two taps show you the battery life and if it's green it's fully charged if it's yellow it's in the middle and if it's red it's completely dead and you want to turn it off otherwise it'll risk damage to your battery This thing also has a 10 second cutoff switch, meaning if you vape this for more than 10 seconds, there's no buttons to push or anything like that. But if you're tugging on this for more than 10 seconds, it'll shut off automatically. So it mean, it's a very good piece. It's very restrictive airflow. It's very um, tight, not very um, loose and cloudy. Because you'll notice with the Athena Squonker, just plumes of vapor nonstop all the way through but with this this is for those tiny beginner hits very good flavor absolutely enthralled by it i like jewels um but i don't really like their pod systems because i don't like how you can't fill them that's why i usually go for the v pod from victory line but it is a really good product and i definitely think it's good for a starter kit so be sure to pick yours up today at ssvape.com it's a really good tank you come they come in a variety of flavors tobacco menthol watermelon mint a uh, fruit medley and um, one other one I can't mango something mango twist or something like that but they're both really they're all really good flavors so <clears throat> absolutely loving it as you can see my pod is pretty much full here and it's got a really good flavor of the fruit medley I really like it a lot of people make a misconception when they look at them for the first time, they see the 5-0 and they think automatically it's 50. In reality, it's 5 milligrams of nicotine. Most people don't actually understand that, but there's a, there's a decimal point in between that 5 and 0. But there's no nicotine in this one. I get mine in the zeros because for the purpose of these reviews. It's a really good flavor. I bought some refill pods in zero because they only came with, um, whatchamacallit, they only came with the nicotine one, so I gave those to a friend of mine who jewels. But the flavor is on point. It's very tiny, very restrictive, but it's very rich. So I really like them. I'd recommend them to anyone who are looking for trying to quit smoking or just looking for a quick, easy, tiny vape. I got my coffee right here to kind of keep me going through the morning. But yeah, that about wraps it up for the review of the jewel. It's a really good um, pod system, and I definitely think that they definitely they des they definitely deserve their the credit they get for what they do. There's no complaints with them whatsoever. They have really good really good flavors, and I think that if they could expand it into a refillable pod system instead of just a regular um, pre-filled pod, because pre-filled you don't get the choices as many choices as you would if you had regular. Of course, there is a way to hack them so you can put your own flavors in there, and most people who use the Jewel already know how that works. But basically, before, why don't I um, show you guys how to do that real quick. Now, this, of course, is not the original function design of your Jewel pod, but I'm going to show you anyway. So you take your fingernail and you grab underneath this little black line, and you just wiggle it until it comes off then you'll remove that black piece of rubber and fill your juice to the brim to up to where the black meets the pl um, black plastic meets the white and um, the clear seafood plastic and then after it's full you just pop it in and go from there and just vape and pull um, pull and vape nothing wrong with it it does put off a lot of vapor let's see how much vapor i can actually get off this thing Ooh, there we go. She's cooking now. So all in all, I'd give this a solid A plus on flavor. I'd give, or no, solid A on flavor. Design A plus and performance definitely an A plus. This thing is a really universe, uh, universally recognized vaping device, and I really do like it. Although uh, there's one con I do have for it. The one con I don't like is how little vapor production it puts off. I think that if they could increase the wattage just a little bit so that it could put off a little more, um, <laughs> if they could have increased the wattage just a little bit more and um, added and made the coil a bit 
more a bit more able to withstand higher wattages that way it would have been able to put off more vapor production for someone who's just starting out that way they could adjust it like say maybe a piece that goes right here like a slider that adjusts the voltage or the wattage so that it puts off certain amounts of vapor depending on your beginning range no screen or anything just little notches that'll tell you which wattage you pitch until it hits so you'd like have for example, you'd have your slider piece here, and then on the back of it, it would tell you in notches which water wattage you'd be vaping at. I think that would be a great jewel point two point oh to um, improve the system for those who are going for the next step. Make the coil more more capable of handling higher resistances. Well, lower resistances in my case. But in any case, this is a really good pod mod. I really like it. Definitely a good unit. So be sure to go to SS Vape and pick yours up today. But until next time, as always, I'm your host, Michael Cobb. Be sure to leave your comments down in the crotch box section. And be sure to like and subscribe for this and other great content. Because I'm always doing some new stuff. And hopefully this will give me some availability to do new products as well. So... Until next time, I'm your host, Michael Cobb, and these have been the Visual Vapor Reviews. Oh, yeah. Peace, guys. <laughs>